all, or good early morning. What's up, guys? What's up? Depends on when you, when you watch this. So good afternoon, good morning, good night, good good day, good evening, good 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 whatever. Good Tuesday, Monday, whatever. Good day to you all. I say good day, sir. I say good day. Uh, so this is episode 61. Uh, if you're if you have this and you made it through all four of the last parts of 60, thanks for that. And then yeah. sticking with it. That was a lot. That was a lot. Yeah. We have a lot here too, but we're gonna blur, we're gonna burn through this really quick. So yeah, Jonathan's come back because uh, he got like one thing out of this, but he's gonna help me with it since there's so much stuff. So. I did. I well, I two. I got two. Yeah. I had two of the things here yeah. out of 30. <laughs> and we actually have every single format this time with the exception of UMDs and uh, HGs. And Red Race. So. Yeah. Which we're still looking for more of those. And I've been searching for them and there's nothing. So. Someday we'll find some more. Maybe. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. with that, let's start with VHS. Go for it, dude. Yeah, and I will do these um, because, as Michael said, a lot of these are, well, most of these are for me because this is my thing that I'm collecting. Uh, gone in 60 seconds. Oh, let's get that a little closer. Uh, exclusive video bonus edition with actual some actual production featurettes on it and it's so cool to see VHS's with these even though it's kind of a pain in the ass to watch them because mm -hmm, you have to watch the whole movie yeah because you had to sit all the way through the credits and they were at the end uh, and you couldn't choose which one you just had to watch them uh, this is one that we actually already owned but Michael found an unopened copy of it and that is Casablanca the black box edition which I don't even know what these are actually called but they're the ones they're the black clamshell type cases uh, which we have a couple of and this was one but it's unopened yep and it's still got the uh, the the original uh, advertisement for advertising sticker on it for uh, 75 years of Warner Brothers and plus it's got a, a, a card inside of it yeah bonus free collector's card inside which I would really like to see but I'm not going to open it because it's a VHS that's unopened those are kind of rare although we have like two or three of them here yeah uh, Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein hilarious movie any of the Abbott and Costello anything from Abbott and Costello is just going to be hilarious mm -hmm. uh, Star Trek 6 The Undiscovered Country Still original packaging. It's awesome. Factory it, sealed. Factory sealed, yes. And this is actually one of my favorite Star Trek movies that they did. General. And that's the special, special home video. What? Special home video version. Yes, even though it doesn't say that there's any special features or anything. But there you go. The Sound of Music also unopened original factory seal on it uh 1965 winner of five academy awards including best picture uh, great movie classic movie not one of my favorite movies <laughs> although i respect it a lot for what it is not gonna deny uh the one that michael got mainly for himself matinee if you've never seen this movie, do yourself a favor and try to find it. It has been released on DVD and never Blu-ray as far as I know, right? They haven't released it yet on Blu-ray? Well, if it is on Blu-ray, I've got it. So... No. It has not been. Nope. Yeah, I didn't think that it had. Uh, great movie. John Goodman in... If you're a movie fan, that's all I should need to say, because anything that John Goodman is in is fantastic, but great movie. I know it's one of Michael's personal favorites. Um, if you're a fan of 50s horror movies, yeah, you'll like this as well. And it's... Oh yeah, and this one is a blockbuster. 
rental. That's great. And the last VHS that we have, I saved this one for last because it's special. Star Wars. Episode 1, Phantom Menace Widescreen Collector's Edition. It has the movie widescreen edition, VHS, 35mm film strip, and a 48-page collector's book. Collector's book. Excuse me. But most importantly, it is also unopened, factory sealed which kind of sucks because I'd really like to see the collector's book and look at it because it's got uh, conceptual paintings, storyboard drawings, and all that good stuff in it. But a classic collector's edition VHS like this, unopened, yeah, that th this thing's never been opened. Mm -hmm. That's all for VHS. You go from here. All right, um, I got a couple of things. One is New Line Platinum Series, Detroit Rock City. Not something I found, something I already had and forgot that I had it. I was looking for something in the box of Overstock movies and uh, yeah, I forgot I had it. So, and that's actually funny because I've been looking for this for a couple of weeks now. Every time I go to Half Price Books or um, uh, Movie Trading Company, I've been looking for this. And so I found the copy that I've had for years and years and years. So. And the next thing I found is something that I've been looking for for over a year now, and I finally found it because I guess I don't know why it's where why it's out now, but that would be the Devil Wears Prada 10th Anniversary Edition Blu-ray. I've been looking for this literally for over a year, and when it came out, it was on sale for like 10, like 15 bucks or something like that, and I kicked myself for not buying it, but I found this for eight bucks. So yay! All right, um, next we're going to go with an older format, Laserdisc. Yeah, you know I'm going to have some Laserdiscs in a lot of these. I went back to Half Price Books in uh, White Settlement where we got a lot of stuff before. And I went and browsed through some stuff and picked up some stuff that I didn't get up list last time. Uh, the first one is Walt Disney's Pinocchio. I can't see if it's in frame. Yeah, it is. Um, what's cool about this one besides it's Pinocchio, uh, it's the Black Diamond Classics version of it. They had another version of Pinocchio, and I was going to buy it too. But when I looked at it, it had fern going. The disc, the disc inside was fern going. So that <laughs> sucks. Um, I would have picked it up just for that, just because... <laughs> just because um, the next one is was a comedy written by and directed by Tom Hanks and that is That Thing You Do which is the story of um, some band thingy in the 60's yeah okay edit 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 edit, edit. Uh, the next one is a double dip. Yes, we're already starting to double dip laser discs. Top Gun. Um, only because this is a different version from the one I had before. This is the digital sound, the stereo edition, the Dolby surround stereo edition. Uh, the other one I have is the AC3 edition, which is basically essentially uh, Dolby Digital 5.1. So that's just a different version of it, basically a different soundtrack. Uh, the next one is Lethal Weapon 3. Uh, I don't remember if I've ever seen this one. I probably have because Joe Pesci goes, I think he goes, always go, okay, okay, okay. But that's cool. I like the artwork on it. Pretty simple and cool. Next one is Kindergarten Cop. Classic, classic flick. I don't even know if I even have this on DVD or not. Yeah, we do. Okay, apparently we do. Uh, next one is Marilyn Monroe and the Seven Year Itch. And it's kind of cool because it's got the little eyebrow kind of thingy there. And it's, uh, I've never even seen this before, but that's still cool. Uh, the next one is Sound of Music. Another copy of Sound of Music. I didn't even realize that when I bought this stuff. How many fucking copies of the Sound of Music do we own now? Seriously. I don't know. It's like Gone with the Wind. We own like four copies of this. Uh, damn but anyway, it's, it's, that's what it looks like. It's a special widescreen edition of it. Um, it's a open 
folder. It's got uh, behind the scenes stories, awards, talk about the awards, cast, and then of course chapter stop. A uh, nice visual of them on the mountain stop singing whatever she's singing. Uh, Hot Shots! Great, uh, great movie. It's actually a parody of Top Gun, so it's kind of fitting that I got them both at the same time. And yeah, great, awesome, awesome, funny movie. Final one is something that's one of my dad's favorites, and I can't believe I found one. Um, I told him next time we come down with a laser disc player, we're going to watch this. Uh, Eddie and the Cruisers. I love the artwork on this. This, this one is almost suitable for framing. Yes, and, and it's so. Fantastic movie if you've never seen it. Um, I actually did a review of that uh, a couple of years ago. I did a review of it on our YouTube channel on my version. Um, really great movie if you're a fan of like uh, 60s rock music. It's definitely one that I suggest. Uh, it has a lot of really good stuff in it. So, And we'll put a, a link to that video in the bottom of this along yeah. with the links of a couple other things that we'll talk about in a second. Yeah. So, time for Jonathan to take back over for a couple of things. Mm -hmm. um, I picked up uh, two steel books, although only one is mine, one is actually his. Uh, the first one I finally broke down and picked it up today, uh, The Magnificent Seven. Uh, this is the remake with uh, Chris Pratt and Denzel Washington, which is a really good movie. Uh, Anton Fuqua directed it, who I have a lot of respect for as a director now after I've seen a couple of things that he's done. Um, very good, highly recommend it, and I've been looking to pick this steel book up for a while, and I finally broke down and did it. And this is another one that he, I, I paid for, but it's not mine. This was actually Michael's birthday present, and that is A Few Good Men steel book, and I want to go a little bit closer so you guys can see this, what this is. All that whole flag with the words and the lines is all embossed. Uh, it's indented in. It is beautiful. This is one of the more beautiful steel books that I've ever seen, and definitely probably the most beautiful that we own, next to like maybe Brick and Dick Tracy. Mm -hmm. um, just gorgeous. And I found that this was a Zabi exclusive, and I found it. I ordered it months ago for Michael. And that one's from the UK. Yes, because it's one of his favorite movies. Again, mm -hmm. one, another one that we talk about that's one of his favorite movies. And I was like, oh, I have to get this for him. Yeah. So, and it is, oh God, it's just so gorgeous. <laughs> I don't even want to open it. Like, it's just so pretty. I know. So. Last thing I have is something that I'm going to be doing an unboxing of. So I'll have the link. Um, I'll shoot that before I edit this together. So I have the link for it. Um, and that is Dirty Dancing, the 30th Anniversary Collector's Edition. I'll show you that. And it's freaking huge. It's a big, huge box full of stuff. Um, it is limited edition of 20,000, which I know 20,000, that's kind of a high number to have a limited edition of. But it's not like the 2,000 that the Disney movie clubs are. Uh, but this is uh, 16,087, which is actually the lowest number that they had there. I think they had three of them were in the 18,000s, and there was another one in 16,000. That was like 16,900 or something. Yeah. So this has got a lot of cool stuff in it. I'm going to um, do an unboxing video of this uh, probably tomorrow. And so um, I'm not going to rip into it right now. I almost don't even want to open it, but there's really cool stuff, especially since I'm we already have Dirty Dancing on Blu-ray. So I, I don't know if I'm going to order, open it or not. But if I do, then there'll be an unboxing video of it, and you'll see that later. Yeah. And this one we are going to be opening because we don't have. <laughs> we, yeah, we have we're going to be opening this. Uh, uh, now now I, I, I bought this, but I'm, I'm going to let Jonathan talk about it because he is the expert. We finally broke. Uh, we finally broke down and got this. We've been looking to buy this for a couple months now. Harry Potter, all eight film, all eight films on steel book. This is the best buy exclusive that they did. That's in its own shelf. It's actually in a thick plastic shelf. 
basically. So you just slide this whole thing into your DVD case. And it is beautiful. And we've been wanting to get this for a while. We finally broke down again. Finally broke, Michael finally broke down today and got it. I didn't uh, take a vacation for day for a year. So I had some extra cash to burn. Yeah. And I had, you know, just like two hours before spent $100 on concert tickets. So <laughs> I let him go ahead and pay for it all. <laughs> um, and, oh, this thing, this thing has been just like killing us for a couple of months. Because it was out and it was on sale for 100 bucks. We should we should have just broke down and bought it that day. We should have just we should have just done it. I mean we, you know I'm glad that we got it. I'm glad that we were able to get it today. We paid a little bit more for it. Uh, you know the price bumped up to 130 for it instead of 100. But it's here. It's beautiful. It's clean. It's so pretty. Everything's a different color. I love it. And I've seen pictures of what all the cases look like, and they're very clean. You can see them here on the back. Uh, they're very clean, just solid color with the name of the movie on it. I love it. Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh. So pretty. Yeah. I'm so... Can't wait to open it. I'm so happy. And we are now officially at past 200 Steelbooks. And I was wrong. I thought that it was going to be Doctor Strange that ended up being our 200th one because I wasn't expecting us to get this. But there you go. Apparently somebody has a... Somebody has something. Somebody yeah. has a message. But... So our overall total now jumps up to 1943. We had 29 new things, four of which were replacements. So 25 technically new things uh, that we're counting. Uh, we got nine new laser discs, which jumps us up to 63. Six new VHSs, which jumps us up to 71. Ten new Steelbooks, which is 207. And uh, a new line Platinum Edition, just one, which jumps us up to 27. So thanks for watching. Blessed be. And bye-bye. See ya.